Hello, everyone! Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to Zora's Domain. Yes, yeah, stretch for them, please. Uh, we just got to this lovely place. It is very magical. I like the music. It, I can almost smell the fresh water. So, what is going on? Zora's Domain. Alright, well, there you guys go. I wasn't lying. So, let's see what we got here. What are you? That looks scary. Oh, hello. Are you like you too? Who are you? No, these are the Zora. They definitely look uh, really good in Breath of the Wild from the little bit I saw. We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection to Hyrule's royal family. Well, what do you want from us? Your stone, of course. Give it to me. Give it to me, Neil. You guys are just swimming around, having a good old time, huh? Me too. All of the water in Hyrule flows from Zora's fountain. That water flows through Zora's river, which eventually reaches Lake Hilliard itself. So you guys all bathe in people's drinking water? Your butt touched the lips of every Hillian. We haven't found Princess Ruto, even though some of us have searched as far as Lake Hillian. That's what I mean I have to go to Lake Hillian. It looks like there's an underwater thingy down below. Oh man, sorry I didn't see you. Have you seen Lord Jabu Jabu? Oh, that's not good. Everybody who comes around here should see Lord Jabu Jabu at least once. Zora's Fountain is just beyond King Zora's Burrow. That is where Lord Jabu Jabu swims. But, unless you have King Zora's permission, you can't go to Zora's Fountain. Alright, well, let me figure out where this is and where Jabu Jabu is. Hey, buddy. Let's talk to all of you first. We Zoras all serve the great King Zora. What? Serve them up. Serve them up some chops. Some chopsticks. I wonder if I can just use that light. Let me try it. Let me try using that fire thing right here. Let's see if that if that lights it. <laughs> source of the river. Lord Jabu Jabu lives in the fountain. Lord Jabu Jabu is the patron deity of the Zoras. Princess Rudu, Rudo is in charge of preparing his meals morning and night. So Jabu Jabu's butt cheeks touches everybody's stuff. I see. I wonder if I can uh, use this without using more of my magic there. Oh, it's a time thing. Tie C. Is there more than one torch? Zora shop. We have fresh fish! Let's go in here. If I stay in the same shop, you're gonna have to cut the audio. And uh, just like that, I'm probably gonna need a fishing pole. Just light this one, and I'm gonna run over there and light the other one and see if it does anything. Run, 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 Rudolph! Light the torch today. It did nothing. I am a dummy. Unless there's like another torch somewhere else that I'm gonna light. down here. Negative sire. Ah. 
don't mind me, I'm just breaking pots. Just ahead, King's Wars Chamber, show proper respect. Right. And we'll do, sire. Oh, maybe that's the final torch needed to light. Let's try that. Challenge. We're just gonna run around Rudolph. Hopefully I'm close enough to that. Come on, let's go. Cool, I don't know what that did, but it did something. Oh, whoops. Not mean to do that. Hey, but I lit them all. That's what matters. It's like, I need you to light three. Oh, you lit the torches? I guess there's fire in there is where I could have got it from. <clears throat> to hear the king's royal proclamations, stand on the platform and speak to him. He's a chunky boy. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Virgo, where has she gone? I'm so worried. What if I play the song for you? Oh, I probably have to target him. That It's going to be the whole Goron thing all over again. Sorry. So, I'm assuming I need to find the princess. You are just chilling, huh? Can I chill with you? Cut you. He's waggling his little feet. Where High dive practice spot. Are you confident in your diving skill? Maybe, let's try. I'm pretty confident. I'm a confident boy. Diving game, 20 rupees, one to play? Yes. Okay! Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. Can I dive on this spot? Fuck! Get it. Yes, yes! Hey, congratulations, I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it! Alright, let's do it. I hope I don't have to light those torches again for whatever happened to happen again, but... See? That wasn't very hard to do. I think it was getting that one lit. I'm guessing after this I've got to go to Lake Hillia. What a graceful dive. Now please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this you can dive much deeper into the water. 
You got the silver scale. Jump in the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Baller. Just like hits the rock in your eyes. But I still can't like breathe underwater. Hopefully I don't die. Hey! It's like Hylia! Oh, you scared the living crap out of me. I am Azora. Have you seen anything strange in the lake? The river carries many things into this lake. So I guess I need to explore the lake. What's that? Let's see. We got an empty bottle! Put something inside. It's not empty. It's got a note in it. Oh, what? Something's already inside? Let's go see. It's probably monsters just waiting for me, but whatever. Is this the only way to get to Lake Helia? Whatever. Works for me. Let's see. Oh, oops. Popped it out. Huh? It looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Rudo. Please, don't tell my father. Why are you in Jabu Jabu's belly? Did he ate you? I guess I just need to go show this to uh, her. Baja. And then that's it. I do like being able to dive deep now. now I could probably go into the uh, Lost Woods area. I could probably do lots of things now. If there's like a big old monster or something out in the lake. Either way, I'm not swimming in there yet, or out there yet. I'm gonna go up here and just see what's on the land, then probably jump out as once I get too far out in the water that I can. So, bear with me. Let's the world together. Lakeside Laboratory. Daily trying to get to the bottom of the mysteries of Lake Ilya, Lake Science. Excuse me, I just started boiping. <clears throat> Hopefully he's not sleeping. Where are you? You're creepy as heck. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process of making medicine by mixing Lake Ilya's laughter with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you met that old lady from the potion shop. She's like a student of mine. Oh. Alright, cool. Is this is like a meter of how far I can dive. I can dive to the bottom, can't I? I'm just gonna explore a little bit more in Lake Helia, go back to the lake, or go back to the Zoras, and show her papa the note. Probably have to defeat the, no, probably not defeat, but do something. Hey, what's up, Big Al? Big Al? Well, this is a lovely picture. What are you doing? You've... You should look 
look at the map subscreen sometimes. Like, this is a beautiful lake full of pure, clear water. At the lake bottom, there's a water temple used to worship the water spirits. The Zoras are guardians of the temple. <laughs> the Zoras come from Zoras Domain in the Northeast Hyrule. An aquatic race, they are longtime allies of the Hyrule's royal family. I heard that only the royal family of Hyrule can enter Zoras Domain. <laughs> I'm on my way back to the castle. If you want to come with me, hold on to my talents. I do not want to go back. Shoo! Go home. Yeah, I did not want to go there. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is a hole? It is a hole. Hole in the bottom of the seat. Alright, I'm gonna need to equip this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? I surrender. In return, I will sell you dag nuts. That piece is 20 rupees there. No, dude. This is a place to buy. I think so. And sticks. Say Deku seeds, 30 pieces, 30 pieces they are. Nope. Is that it? And this guy's gonna sell me yeah. these things, huh? I just wanna kill him. I quit. If you let me go, I'll sell you some bombs. Five pieces, 40 rupees they are. Is this all this was? shop where I can get hurt. <clears throat> Looks like Lake Helia is very big. And I must be able to explore it whenever I become adult sized enough to wear that freaking thing. See maybe that is something I gotta play here. It's just a big Triforce. I like that. I, I see Wind Waker has taken a lot of inspiration from this game. Like with the whole flute and the ocarina and whatnot. When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning night. There's a lot down there. I don't know what this area is supposed to be. I do not know. It said something about morning light, so maybe whenever the sun's rising in that area, it comes up between them. You gotta shoot the sun. You gotta shoot those pillars, you gotta shoot the thing that's there. I wonder if, sorry, she already told me. Quit it. Navi's kind of annoying. Is that a wolf or is that Link? I'm pretty sure that's Link. Like yawning. Can I not get up here? Fishing pond. The fish are really biting today. Okay. Let's see if they are. Fishing pond. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? 
Sure. Oh no, you don't have a rumble pack. With the rumble pack, you can feel the vibrations of a fish on your hook. This time, no rumble for you. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press Z to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with the joystick. If you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A. Hold down A and R to reel it in faster. Feel a hit, press A and down to set the hook. After that, reel it in with A. Do you understand? I think so. So, Janice, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you keep only one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here weighed six pounds. After you cast, you can change the view with Z. Let's fish. Let's fish. Sinking lures, don't let him. There's a big fish over there. I think that's a fish. Come here, fish! You're mine! Come here! <laughs> well, well, it's about two pounds. Do you want to keep it? Uh, let's try for one bigger fish. One more. That one. Shut up. I got you now, boyo. Come here. Come on. Watch this game be small. Come on! Wait. Hey, what's happened? You lost it. What? It was like right there. Alright, fine. Didn't like that fish anyhow. I always gotta do a tuck and roll before I fish. It's just a tradition. Boyo. You're mine. Well, well, it's about three pounds. You want to keep it? Yes. That's my fish. He is nice. All right. So we fished. I think I need to go turn in that letter to King Zora before it gets too long. Let's talk about something. Oh, whoops. What? Do you want to know some fishing secrets? I can't tell you any. They're company secrets. Seriously. Okay. Let's weigh my fish. Well, it weighs three pounds. Not bad. But there are bigger fish in there. Well, it's mine now, so... Thank you. Hey, hey. You can't take the rod. 
Well, I was just, I'm done! What do you, what else do you want? Oh, I want to quit. Come back when you get older. The fish will be bigger too, well, maybe. That's just another foreshadowing that I'm gonna get uh, and turn into a big boy. So, alright, let's get out of here. I would wait till the morning light of that other thing, but uh, I don't know how much I want to wait around for that, to be honest. What is this? Hello, Scarecrow. My name is Pierre, the Wandering Scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander to look for soul-moving sounds, but I'm kind of stuck here. What if I play... Because that one guy thought it was fire and danced his heart out. Listen. I don't want to talk to him. Maybe I just need to find more music. Well, what do you have to say? <clears throat> I am Bonnaroo. The Scarecrow musical genus Bonnaroo. I hear a song once, and I never forget it, baby. Well, whoa, you have an ocarina? Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? I could have done the morning light thing probably if I had made it over there instead of talking to these god dang scarecrows. Alright, I'm just gonna swim back underneath like I did before. I think that's what this is. It's just like Zora's temple. Yes. I'm going to go back. Yeah! Alright. Cool. We're making progress in this game. Slowly but surely. I feel like I do a little bit of something in every episode at least, which is nice. Makes me feel like I kind of know what I'm doing and I'm not taking too long to do it. I like these older games because they don't cram pack them with so much extra stuff to do that takes you just forever. Gameplay and good gameplay at that. Uh, let's see. Oh, this letter. It's from Princess Ruho. Hmm, let's see. She's inside, lad. Jabu Jabu? Not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruho. Since that stranger, Ganondorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear, of course. You'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle, Ozen. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora! <laughs> Oh my god, you were- was that your butt making that sound? I was gonna say we could probably, like, continue, uh, going on into this area, but as long as that took, it probably won't have enough time. But we're gonna go in here real fast just to see what's around the, the bend, and I'm probably gonna have to get ready to cut it. 
Zora's Fountain. Whoa. What is that? Is that King Jabu Jabu? I think it is. Anyway, if it is King Jabu Jabu, we're gonna have to find out in the next episode because that's all the time I've got for this one, everybody. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the mo like button. The motherfucking like button. And uh, if you didn't, smash the motherfucking dislike button. And if you wanna see more, subscribe. So, yeah. Peace out, y'all. I love you.